What's up everybody, I'm over the internal center and actually I think this is the third and the last video from Toronto Central. I'm going to see and show you two very interesting places here and then I'm gonna travel across uh, Canada. We're gonna go to Calgary soon and I'm gonna go probably tomorrow to United States as well. Uh, so today will be probably the last video from Toronto, Toronto Center. I just need to catch the streetcar or just tram, something, something like this. Like this one, this is actually mine. What I should take, so I have to wait for a few minutes. And I'm gonna go to the first location, which is the Stillery District. Anyways, if you're in central location, this is how does it look like. Everything will be big here, big, big, big buildings like this one. I uh, just wanted to show you for the probably last uh, shot. Uh, one of the main streets here uh, waiting for my uh, cable car tram actually well actually streetcar i don't know why actually they call it streetcar and bank of nova scotia i think i filmed here last time i was actually somewhere somewhere around that's actually one of the buses and just behind the bus there will be my tram i call it them tram but they are streetcars here's 504 loud this is what i gonna use today cool and basically this is how does it look like inside just regular stuff like in the tram in europe and you can observe also watch the town regular stuff all right and that was my quick ride it was pretty decent and pretty easy to navigate actually uh the tickets cost you three dollars fifty cents it's fun for two hours and you can use your debit credit card then you just tap type touch once and that's it and it's valid for two uh two hours and will your account will charge next day something like that i used a few times already it's actually pretty cool and pretty convenient and also i'm already outside of the central district of toronto it's a little bit uh, different architecture here a little bit not that many skyscrapers here we go and i'm entering through the heart through the distillery district here in toronto uh, this is like a special district full of cafes, restaurants and the old architecture because here actually it was the real district some time ago. There are obviously art galleries, some museums, so many cafes, bars and any other establishments, boutique shops, stuff like this one. However, it's Monday when I'm filming it and it looks a little bit quiet. I heard this place is very lively Friday night, uh, Saturday and Sunday and just generally on the weekends. But during the weekday, it's not gonna much happening here. However, I still gonna show you because I cannot film only on the weekends, right? Right, like here, there's like a bar here normally. Uh, it's supposed to be open. People are still coming here to stroll with the doggos, for example, like this one and this one. And that's the little bit of the uh, old architecture in general. Like I said previously, I mentioned uh, it's totally different style. This one is actually a very interesting sign of the peace with all the symbols of every religion and all whatever you can believe. Japanese eats and drinks here with the very old school vibe and the country music also in the band. I have to be careful with it. But up actually maybe more closer to the center, something is going on. Interesting fact, maybe I'm not going to show my face too much. I'm going to just show you around. As a long time ago, that actually was a uh, well, the, the proper destry, and they were making the whiskey here for everybody who likes these beverages. They were making here, right? And this is the main square of the destry district, actually. Here, even something is going on. I can see some bars and some shops open, somebody having a lunch during the time. So, in the background, you have a modern uh, buildings, and on the uh, here, you have a red uh, bricks, uh, you know old buildings of the district transform into basically like a complex of shops, restaurants, bars. Uh, I heard also as during the weekend a lot of like uh, people who having some exhibitions or scenes here with the music performance or the like uh, club with the motorbikes or Harleys, they coming here to hang out. But la, during the weekday it's just simply like this one. Maybe not that much is going on, but still definitely worth uh, to show you a little bit uh, around like for example uh, here uh, you can have uh, some uh, well, shops obviously and bars yeah actually even some tour group here overall great place to hang out and have a look a little bit of the history i could say it feels a little bit like a one of the an old town in europe that is of course different uh, but uh, this is actually i don't know why they are queuing here they queuing actually for something I have no idea why they queuing for what something is there. And then, for example, the spirit of York Destroy Company. 
a long time ago the Toronto was named of York that was the York not the Toronto but they changed it and there's the bar actually full of people and they're really queuing somewhere I have no idea why I'm not gonna go there to find out actually they are oh come on they actually applicants for a work they having a CVs at home at the hand check this out the huge line because obviously all of them they are just newcomers but it's like 200 people are trying to apply for the job in the restaurant over there. Actually, this is unbelievable. All of those people having a CV in the hand trying to apply for the job. But the amount of people is huge. All right, there's the low sign and the people coming, making a picture and stuff. Um, yeah, actually, a lot of places here, they're hiring people like a line cooks, cheese monger, sales staff, barista staff, stuff like this one. Maybe they have an open day interview there. So that's why so many people, artisan chocolate, fresh coffee, stuff like this one. This actually place looks very nice. Here we go. Looks actually cool. You see that you can find like an old school retro uh, kind of concept places. This one is feels a little bit like the place what I visit the coffee shop with this team in Vietnam last time of Winnie. Actually cool. And weather. Weather. Guys, weather is just beautiful. I can't believe my luck about the weather. How beautiful weather is it? When I'm here in Canada, especially in Toronto. Ah, this is so, so cool. Actually, it's so cool to stroll here on the, uh, on the, the streets. I can imagine during the weekend must be busy, I guess. Very busy. Even that Monday is not that bad. There are, of course, stores inside, like a galleries. This is like a, a funky style of the place where you can hang out in Toronto. Actually, very near by the downtown. It's like a 20 minutes drive by the cable, uh, by the tram car, street car, whatever you call it. So it's cool. Just gonna show you a little bit. Never been here before, so I don't know where I'm supposed to, where I should go. And so, but that's how does it look like. And this is like already the edge of this one, and there will be the condominium, apartments, buildings. I'm just throwing here and making the video, and even somebody, local people, having a coffee. Actually, the beer. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> they asked me, do you know what is the queue for? It's so long, like seriously. And don't remember when last time I saw an, uh, in queue for the job interview or the open day like that. Anyways, uh, let's focus on the video today. That's the main concept. So that's the history, uh, district and the main center where the, everything is going. This is the modern uh, apartment building, I'm pretty sure. And that's a little bit of the old architectural building. And the downtown of Toronto is actually there. Uh, you can see the CN Tower, I think so, because the sun is facing actually. That's the little parking area, obviously. So uh, this is this good um, Wharfs Limited district. So fine whiskey since 1832, actually. A little bit piece of the history, cool place. And yeah, that's the, actually the main entrance hall. Uh, only few several people actually working and then you can find oh women's sweaters made in Ireland used to live there can confirm they make it like them there and that's like a little shopping shopping options here the butter charts stuff like this one a uh, few few little uh, shops and basically this is it that's the nice track over there I want to get there show you we can have a quick coffee here enjoy uh, I'm just gonna show you the track actually what left here i was thinking as they were transforming using those trucks to transforming the whiskey a long time ago cool actually so cool track the window is open you can see how it's inside this is like you could buy and renovate actually actually cool uh, i'm gonna tell you you have to come to north america to see the trucks like this one which is cool anyways this is super cool so happy to as i came here and visited this place Highly recommended, actually, uh, definitely without uh, doubts. However, maybe better on the weekend when it's busier. Uh, but if you like quiet, not too many crowds, because this place is actually not that big, not that very big American standard. So maybe better actually like this one. Also, the weather is not just nice. It's already October and I just feel hot. It's like 27, 28 degrees maybe. That's cool. I'm gonna tell you, even better.
All right, I'm now back to the center and I'm going to the Eton center actually, which is shopping mall. But this one is actually nice because it looks old uh, and it's very interesting architecture. That's why I'm gonna show you. I saw also as this is one of the best, most interesting looking shopping malls in Toronto. So at least one I will show you. Here you go, that's the last shot from the city and this is where I'm going, Toronto Eton center. Loud bikes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Eton, Eton, Eton Center, this is it, here we go. And also this is the legendary uh, subway where the crates, when during the winter the steam is coming because you can hear the train, the subway train coming. This is very North American stuff. And this is the entrance, actually very small, uh, like this one, interesting, interesting fact. Here we go, ladies and gents, this is the mall, this is the Eton Center. Why I choose this mall? Probably because it looks different than most of the malls what I visited. Either it's nice or not, um, well, I'm not gonna judge it. There's the sugar, the fountain, there's the Starbucks, there are the lift center, the main, uh, like a lobby. But the roof, roof actually of this mall, how bright it is and how they make it, is actually very interesting. Not sad, not that big, but it's in the city center. Uh, looks actually very interesting. The same interesting like Psycho Bunny. <laughs> That's interesting brand actually. Uh, and yeah, this is it. I have to say, I will change the lens maybe. Now if I'm showing you on the white lens, which is totally different perspective, you can see as the actually architecture of the mall is unique, it's different. Uh, even maybe just not for the mall itself, but for the architecture, I think it's really, really worth a visit. And I will stroll a little bit around, let's see what we can find here. You can obviously buy Omega and Bridgling here, which is cool, but also uh, like a regular, regular stores only. So it's not only like a premium or only, regular, it's like a medium range mall, like a cross psycho bunny, as I said, overall uh, or tag here. Uh, so a little bit of everything, a little bit of nothing. And in the mall is somehow busier than on the streets. There will be Sephora, Swarovski down there. Uh, other brands, Lululemon, for example, and then there are actually two floors, two main floors, as a Victoria's Secret. Uh, so you have uh, one floor uh, down there and one there, and after on the top of it, they are like offices actually. There are no shops, offices only, and that's interesting. That's that's something different with all apps. And what I was thinking just right now is that in Asia, the malls are very important landmarks because uh, there is hot outside, so people have to come inside to cool down themselves. I was thinking as during the winter, here is on the opposite way. So it's so cold, snowing and minus some degrees and outside, so everybody feel cold, cold. Then you can come inside the mall and warm up yourself. That's actually interesting. And basically down there, there's like a huge food court of some or Chinese, I think, or Korean, actually, or Japanese, not sure. McDonald's, McDonald's must should be. It's like a food court, but with the different brand and different organization, I could say. Uh, and I can see in the background at the very, very end, there is the legendary Tim Horton as well. So this is how does it look like. Just wanted to show you all. Thai Express as well. All right, that's for the day. I just got myself the Starbucks coffee. I know what you're gonna say. I know some people really don't like Starbucks, but when you're in North America, that suits me actually to work here with Starbucks. You know, that's most of people doing that way anyways. I tried the Team Spartan, but cappuccino is not really good. Anyways, this is mocha. I'm not even sure if the Team Spartan is selling the uh, mocha, but I will still try uh, the double double. What is actually more interesting regarding the Starbucks here is that, as I don't remember when last time, they wrote my name good. And then, here you go, you have a Starbucks cup with Damian, that's how is my name properly. Damian, not Damian, not Damian, not Damon, but Damian.
then with this happy moment as I make the video show you something interesting I need to go back home I did the video rest a little bit tomorrow I have a trip to US would like to say thanks so much for being with me on my Canada trip North America trip basically uh, if you haven't subscribed yet you are new you could consider to do it I'm making videos every single day already since last three years big thumb up thanks so much for any kind of support buy me a coffee and stuff see you tomorrow see ya take care guys